Okay, this little box here, besides being able to emulate the Sonic Ranger, it's also able to, uh, to report the exact location of the cart uh, without emulating the Sonic Ranger. All you have to do is push the local button and it displays the position of the cart, about 24 centimeters. And as we can see here, evidence about 24 centimeters. And um, if you move the cart, the position changes and you can also pause the display with this button here. So now if I move the cart, position is fixed. So you can read the, the position a little more easily. And if you push the, uh, the tear button, you can also make, uh, make calibrations of the, uh, the system. Basically, uh, now you see all three displays of the, uh, the force gauges. If I try to push on the, uh, on the track, force gauges will actually change the reading. The left one is pushed down. And uh, I'll push the right, uh, uh, right side. The two values on the right actually increase. Okay, so if you have the track without anything on top of it, um, well, even with the, uh, the stopper, we can actually uh, uh, just calibrate it with that one on top and just push the tear again. And now you can see the uh, select track lengths. You can have a few different lengths, one meter is 1.2, two meters 2.2, and I'll just choose the 1.2 meter so it'll display the correct position. And just press enter Okay, so without a card, you can see the position is 60 centimeters, exactly the center. And if I just push with my finger around any position like 86 right here, it displays that position. And the same thing happens if I just put the card on. Okay, now the card is on and the position is about 74 centimeters. And there we go. And we can move it around.